welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you my June favorites. I haven't had a favorites video in a long time but I was wandering around my house and I just kept finding all of my favorite things and I realized hey I can show you guys what I've been loving in the month of June. So I have quite a few things here from all sorts of different categories. So let's just go ahead and hop into, mm, let's go into skincare slash bath luxuriousness. The first thing, of course, and it's no you know, secret to you guys, is I absolutely love Lush Cosmetics. However, it's not just Lush Cosmetics that I like, I love their um, bath bombs. So I actually have a couple of favorites. The one right here is called the Butterball, and it has a lot of solid oils that melt into the bathtub and just makes the bathtub super luxurious, and just, if you love taking baths as much as I do, you understand how amazing the Butterball is. And if you have not used it, it's actually one of the cheapest ones that they have. I don't really remember right off the top of my head how much it is, but it's always in the store. It's not a seasonal item, and it is amazing. The next one that I have is, oh, I don't even remember what it was called. It smells so good, though. It is the Sakura, the Sakura Blossom, I believe is what it's called. It's about this big, it has very pretty pastel colors. And the scent is beautiful, it's delicate and floral and it lingers on the skin when you get out of the tub. It's, it's just one of my favorites. And then we have the final favorite, the final favorite from the store and this is the avo balm it's their avocado oil bath bomb it is green and fizzy and it smells very citrusy it's just it's wonderful this is like the best summer bath bomb in my opinion because it just reminds me of lemongrass it has some lemongrass in there but it has lemongrass and it just reminds me of a nice warm not hot warm fragrant summer day and it is just phenomenal if you soak in the tub like I do as long as I do because I take a book in and then I'll stay there forever. Alright so moving on to some more bath products. I have the L'Occitane uh, Almond Oil Shower Gel. You can get this from Sephora. It is a tad pricey for about $30. I know $30 you get the bottle this size for about $50 you get the even bigger bottle that has a pump and I wanted that one but the Sephora or uh, Sephora near me doesn't sell it in that size so I might have to go online and order it from L'Occitane or just you know, use this forever and a little does go a long way you can see it's a very um, or not very viscous uh, liquid it's very much like an oil and once it comes in contact with water, it has this light foam that's not drying at all. I can use this to shave, to wash, to whatever, and whenever I'm done, I'll get out of the uh, tub or the shower and I'll realize that my skin is really soft and I don't immediately need to go and slather myself with moisturizer because this is actually very moisturizing on its own. But speaking of moisturization, I have two things that are amazing. The first one, is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Coconut Oil Body Lotion. You can grab this from your local Walmart, your local Target for around five or six dollars. And this is like summer in a bottle. It smells like a coconut beach day and it actually does not lie. It says 24 hours of moisture and I have found that whenever I apply this at night before I go to bed, I'll wake up and my skin is still dewy and soft and moisturized and not sticky at all. I'll get dressed, go to work, come back that night and I still have moisture in my skin from this lotion. It is amazing. The scent when you first put it on is like a punch of coconut, but after about 10 to 20 minutes depending on how you're moving around, whether or not you're changing clothes, this scent just 
fades away into nothing and I love it so much. And another one that I've come to love, and I'm not even really sure where you can get this. My mom and I went to Round Top for Mother's Day weekend and one of the shops was selling this and it's the You Are Amazing Hello Beautiful Skin Body Lotion in Lavender Fields. It comes in a tube like this and it's very thick, like I'll show you. So I just put a little bit on my hand and it is thick and super creamy and it smells it just smells like a dream. Oh my goodness. We walked into that shop and this was the first thing that I smelled. And I, I stopped me in my tracks. You can ask my mom. I stopped in my tracks and I just went, what is that smell? Because I wanted it, whatever it was. I was going to own it because it smells so amazing. And there was another woman in there and she had just tried on this lotion and she started laughing and she said, I think it's my lotion. And so she handed me the tester tube and I opened it up and immediately I just realized that I was in lavender heaven. So if you love lavender scented anything, this lotion is right up your alley because it's like you're literally walking through a field of lavender and it is beautiful and it lasts quite a long time. So as far as moisture goes, it is pretty moisturizing. I like to use it whenever I paint my nails, but it does... Uh, go away after a couple of hours. It's not as long lasting as the Palmer's uh, coconut oil lotion, but for what it is, it is amazing. But the scent will linger on your skin for hours. It's, it is amazing. And then I have two more bathy products. This one has been my Holy Grail hair uh, shampoo for after. Uh, Remember when I cut my hair off and I'll put a picture up here and it was like super short and I was so proud that I chopped all of my hair off. Well after a, um, I don't know, after a couple of weeks of not being able to style my hair because it was so short, I just wanted to grow my hair and I was like, I missed my long hair so much. So I actually found the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Shampoo with Peppermint and Apple Cider Vinegar. That is a mouthful, but it looks like this. You can pick it up at Target or Ulta, or I think Walmart even sells it. And the scent is, I don't really know how to explain it. It has a very earthy scent, but it's not overpowering. It's not very strong. It doesn't smell like peppermint, even though peppermint oil is in here, but it doesn't smell like apple cider vinegar either. It's just, it's a very earthy scent, and I actually really don't mind it. And my hair, guys, I have been using this, I don't know, for a couple of months now, even though this is, you know, the June favorites. And my hair went from being, like, right here to now it's actually, like, a little longer than the um, back strap of my bra. So, like, a little past my shoulder blades. And that is a lot of growth. A lot of growth. Considering that I haven't gotten the haircut. I haven't trimmed my hair at all in the entire year because it's been a year since I cut my hair. But it hasn't really started growing at the rate that it had been growing until I started using this bad boy right here. And this is a brand new bottle. I have one that's about half empty in my shower right now. And I really do feel like it has made a difference. If you're trying to grow your hair out and you have naturally curly hair or even just any type of hair, because it says for all hair types to bleed. Nope, restore and renew natural, chemically processed, color treated, or heat styled hair. So it can be any hair, okay? If you're trying to grow your hair out and you like have tried every single thing under the sun but this, I say give it a go because it has castor oil in it. We all know castor oil can help speed up the hair growth process. So just give it a go. This will last you for quite a long time. I've only gone through two in the few months that I've been using it. So I say give it a go and see if it works for you. And one other bathroom product, I guess, is the, and you're gonna laugh because this is like all dilapidated because it sits on my bathroom counter. This is the Crest 3D White uh, Polishing Brilliance Stain Fighting Toothpaste. It looks like this, you can grab it at Target, Walmart, basically everywhere sells this. And it's in my favorites because of this. Well, a lot of you guys know, these teeth right here are a part of a bridge, so they're set at the same color. They're never going to change color, ever. And the rest of my teeth, so the other half of the teeth that you see whenever I smile, 
are still my actual tea. Well, I like my coffee and I like my tea and I like, you know, eating berries and I like to eat, okay? And all the stuff that I eat can actually stain your teeth over time. So if I ever wake up in the morning and I go, oh my goodness, there are two different colors in my mouth. What do I do? I literally just take this for like two days, brush all of my teeth with this Brilliance toothpaste and it lightens the teeth that might have turned a little darker and so you can't actually tell that there's a color difference at all because there is no color difference anymore. So it's actually really great at being a whitening toothpaste that doesn't taste bad, you don't have to leave it on your teeth for very long, and it's not actually eating away at your teeth. It just scrubs it and polishes your teeth, and it's amazing. Even my husband uses this. He, he loves this stuff too. So now that we have gone into like the beauty realm, I have a few beauty products that I have been loving. I don't even know if I have told you guys about this stuff. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is like my third or fourth one, okay? I have the one, the all-in-one. It's the original, it's the pink one. There is a waterproof one, but I wasn't that much of a fan of it considering it left my skin feeling a little residue-y, but this one is really, really, really good. So it removes makeup, it cleanses, it refreshes, you don't have to rub really hard and it gets rid of most of the makeup. So how I use this, as you guys know, I have that crazy long skincare routine that includes two different types of cleansing. Well, a lot of the time, before I even do my skincare routine, I'll just take a cotton pad with some of this and get rid of most of my makeup. So I usually like to rub it into my eyebrows and start getting rid of my mascara. Mascara is the hardest to get rid of without being rough on your eyes. So I feel like soaking it with this for a bit before I actually start cleansing my face makes the world of a difference when getting my mascara off. But it's really good if I'm traveling, I'll just take this and a couple of moisturizers and go through a couple of cotton pads to get rid of my makeup and then moisturize. And it works perfectly fine. So if you have not tried it and you've heard the hype about it, I suggest you go and you try it. It's really not that expensive and it actually does a pretty good job. So next up, and you guys are going to laugh, those of you who know how long I have been hunting for this particular product. Ever since Too Faced released on Instagram the picture of their Unicorn Tears lipstick, I have been trying to find it for probably three and a half months. And I wandered into Ulta one day and it, I had already given up hope that it was not gonna be in stock. Every time I went to Ulta, it was always out of stock. Well, I wandered around the corner and there were two left. So I grabbed one. And this is the Unicorn Tears lipstick. It is a duochrome lipstick. I'll swatch it for you real quick. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put some on real quick. Just It's just so beautiful. <laughs> it's ethereal and sparkly and it changes color. And just look at that. That is on my lips right now. It is, mm, even though it's not natural, I have actually worn this to church. I have worn it out on a date with my husband. I have just worn it every day. I just put it on right now. I have grocery shopping to do today, but it's not so over the top that people are gonna be like, oh my goodness, that is not okay. Because one, it has a pink shine, but then you turn your head and it's like a little pop of blue and it's, oh, I love it so much. And whenever school starts back up, because I am a teacher, I am gonna be wearing this as I'm teaching because it is beautiful and nobody can stop me, okay? No one can stop me. The next beauty favorite that I have for you is the brand new and it came out a couple weeks ago so it can still be part of those favorites because I've been using it every single day basically. This is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise. Now I've talked about this in other videos. If I haven't uploaded them by now, I will be talking about this in other videos. I am going to put a full review of this mascara on my website so stay tuned for that. It is coming. I saw this came out on social media and I was curious. 
I was like, okay, let me let me watch people use it and let me read up on it before I actually go and spend my money on it. It's not expensive, but hey, you know what? If I want to spend my money on some makeup, it better work. And there were enough people saying how amazing a product this was that I went ahead and I went on the hunt for it and I finally found it at Walmart. Yes. I have it on right now. Like, let me zoom you in so you can see. I have this on right now and it's like I could be wearing false flashes. This is one coat. One coat of this mascara. Just look at that. Mm hmm That is what is up. And I figure whenever I start to do giveaways, I'm going to include this in every single giveaway because I feel it is that good of a product. Anyway, I'm going to zoom you back out so I can continue my video. Okay. Sorry, I just had to because this is so good. The next beauty-ish type product that I have is the Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. It is the green one. You can grab this at Ulta. And I use it sometimes as a toner, but mostly I use it as a skin refresher. So if it's been hot outside or my skin's been getting really dry, I'll just take this and spritz it on and let it dry. And it instantly makes me, my skin feel super moisturized. Oops, I'm so sorry. It makes my skin feel super moisturized, even if I'm wearing makeup. It's a pretty good investment. I grabbed it for like $5 at Ulta. Whenever I run out, I am going to go and buy. I'll buy it again because it's actually pretty moisturizing, it's refreshing, and it has green tea in it, so it actually gives you some antioxidants on the skin that helps fight free radicals. So that is always a good for me. I still have that on my hand. Alright, the next beauty thing is, and I lost the cap like a long time ago, but I use it. I use it so much I like don't really have any left in here. This is the Pantene Pro V Pro V Style Series Dry Shampoo. And it comes in a bottle like this. The only place I've really been able to find it is Target, but then again, I didn't really look at Walmart to see if they had it. This one smells really good. Like, it doesn't smell like hairspray. It doesn't smell like the fake floral that a lot of dry shampoos have. Two, it has no color. No color at all. So this is amazing and really nice because you can see my hair is pretty dark. Like it's not as dark as some people's, but it's not blonde. And when I use like the Batiste sh uh, dry shampoos and um, another line that I tried, left a white cast in my hair. And you guys know I don't brush my hair. I have curly hair. You can't brush it when it's dry, or it's going to be a big frizz ball. So it's always a fight whenever using the white cast dry shampoos to get my hair to look normal and not powdery because I couldn't brush it through my hair. This stuff is amazing. You suction in your hair, you spray it on your roots, and you let it sit. And it says massage into your scalp. So while it's still a little wet, you just massage it. You massage it all up in your hair. It gets rid of dirt, it gets rid of grease, and when it dries, it gives you volume volume so if you need a non-colored volumizing dry shampoo I highly recommend this one it is more expensive than the Batiste one the Batiste ones are like two dollars but it is worth the price all right moving on to uh, it's like okay I have a couple more miscellaneous product products and I don't really know where they go the first one is the what are you? The First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Intense Lip Balm. It comes in this little jar. You can get yours at Ulta. If you get dry lips, cracked lips, bleeding lips, often, like I do, my lips are so incredibly dry, I can't hardly wear lipstick. All right, I just use chapstick and that's all that I use, or lip balm, something that's always gonna be hydrating because my lips get so dry. When my lips get really chapped and cracked and flaky and irritated and painful this stuff is amazing you it's so thick it's so creamy a little goes a long way i'm trying to get the focus there we go a little goes a really long way i scoop some out onto my finger and massage it into my lips before i go to bed every single night and i wake up and my lips are plump they are moisturized and they're not cracked, they're not chapped, and it has kept me from having 
dry chap cracked flaky lips since I started using it, which was at the beginning of the summer. So I highly recommend that to anybody if you're suffering from dry lips because it it is amazing. Alright, the next thing that I have is actually pretty new at Target. I'm sorry, I keep kicking the stand for my for my camera. It's actually pretty new at Target. This is the Schmitz Natural Deodorant in Bergamot and Lime. It looks like this right here. It is all natural. It has no aluminum, no propylene glycol, no artificial fragrance. It has, I'm just going to go through the ingredients so that you know what's in it. It has uh, Maranta Arnidea. Uh, if I botch these scientific names, please forgive me. That, that basically is arrowroot powder. Um, they have coconut oil, uh, candelilla wax, shea butter, baking soda, uh, fractionated coconut oil, jojoba or ho jojoba seed oil, bergamot essential oils. Okay, you guys know I love Earl Grey tea. This smells like Earl Grey tea with like lime. It is. Even my husband loves the scent of this. Anyway, after that is lime essential oil and vitamin E oil that is derived from sunflowers. This works so much better than that La Vanilla super expensive all natural deodorant that I got from Sephora. But you could put that on and it would smell really good and it would um, keep you smelling nice and fresh. But as soon as I would get to school and I'd start walking around the classroom, I'd start answering questions on the spot, by lunchtime I would be a stinky, a stinky mess. Stinky mess, like, ugh, I did not like it at all and I paid all my money for that giant one, the one that was meant for sports and it just, it didn't work for me. I had to stop using it and just go back to regular aluminum deodorant so that I wasn't stinking in the middle of the day because it was embarrassing and I felt super self-conscious about it. it. Guys, it was not good. So I saw that a couple of YouTubers and Instagrammers had reviewed it and said that they loved it way more than La Vanilla. And I figured since it was drugstore, I might as well go buy it and try it because I'm always on the lookout for a good natural deodorant because I don't like clogging up my lymph nodes. That's how you actually get rid of toxins from the body, by sweating. And I smelled it in store and I like melted into a puddle onto the ground because it smelled so good. And I was like, all right, that's it. I'm getting it, I'm buying it. This will actually keep me stink free all day, all day. I smell like a nice cup of lime tea. It's, I love it so much right now. So if you are trying to find a really good natural deodorant, I I would check this out because they have different ones besides bergamot. I think they have a lavender one, of course, and then I think they might have a lemongrass one. Don't hold me to that, but I really do think they have a lemongrass one. But they smell amazing and they keep you from smelling like Theo. It's it's good, and I am down to my last two products, and they are, again, in the miscellaneous category. The first one, I guess, is nails. All right, it's na nail category. This is the Seche Vite Fast Dry, or Dry Fast Top Coat. If you like to see um, lots of nail tutorials, you'll know that this is a very, like, it's a cult favorite, and I never really picked it up because I didn't know anywhere that sold it. Well, my Ulta started selling it a couple of months ago, and I just now found it at the beginning of the month. And I've been using it for every single manicure since, like, I started using it. This has beaten out every other fast-drying top coat that I have had. Because usually when you use a fast-drying top coat, it dries fast, but it's not very shiny. You know, it doesn't have, really have a very good shine. But can we see the shine that is on my nails? That is from this fast drying top coat. If I had a regular nail polish that wasn't streaky like this one is, it would look like I got gel nails done because it is so glossy, so shiny, and it's so jelly-like whenever it dries. It's it's really good. The only thing I can complain about this is that it smells... You know that smell like right when you walk into the, um, the nail salon, you're like, whoa! Nail chemicals. That's what it smells like, but once it actually dries 100%, you don't smell it. 
it's yeah, but you don't you don't smell it at all once it dries 100 percent And then my last and final my last and final my final favorites for this month is the Bath and Body Works tobacco flower candle. This like it smells like I don't even know how to describe this. It reminds me of hardwood floors, like old, original, spicy scent of hardwood floors, and early childhood memories of my grandpa because he used to, a long, 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 long time ago, used to smoke pipe tobacco. And I would smell his little uh, tobacco boxes, like he had like the little speaker boxes on his desk next to his pipe. And I would sneak into his office and I would smell it because it smelled so, um, I don't know, foreign and beautiful to me. That's what it reminds me of. This candle is by far my favorite candle. If you ask my husband, what's your wife's favorite scent of candle, he's going to go, tobacco! And I don't even know why. It smells so good. If you, any of you have ever smelled like a cigar box, like a cedar cigar box, or you have a grandparent who used to smoke like actual like loose pipe tobacco, you know what I'm talking about. It is just a very fragrant scent that is foreign and spicy and beautiful. And I don't put it on smoking at all, but it smells really good. So those are all of my favorites that I have for you today. If you saw anything that you would like to try out or you have questions about, go ahead and leave me a comment down below because I will hop on and answer your comment as quickly as I can. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like these kinds of videos and I can film some more of them for you. And I hope you have a really good day. Don't forget to follow on social media. At the end of this video, there's going to be a screen in which you can uh, see all of my, uh, my handles for various um, social medias. And I'll, of course, link the Facebook page down below. The Facebook page of all of the social media is what you probably do want to follow because that is where you get behind the scenes. You get mini reviews that I don't put onto my website. You get short little videos that I don't put up on, on here on YouTube. So anyway, just go ahead and follow. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.